wannabes. How are you today? Oh boy. <clears throat> well, I'm just leaving my sister's place because I had to take her home early. She didn't even get to stay. She stayed overnight. She went for her IV and then I had to take her home today. Why, you ask? Because George is sick. <clears throat> now, I've been hearing that there is walking pneumonia going around on the island. Oh, son. So, yeah, now George has a cold and it's getting into his chest. And I am four days out from my surgery. Am I happy? Absolutely not. I am really not happy. <clears throat> um, my sister, she has these, the, her IV <clears throat> for her Wegener's disease that completely, it's kind of like a chemo treatment idea where it completely wipes out your immune system. It takes it down to zero. So I had to get her the hell out of my house. <clears throat> I had to take her home and get her out so that she doesn't get this whatever it is that George has. I'm I'm worried. I'm worried because if I get this, I can't have my surgery again. So he's going to sleep in the basement for the next few days and I'm going to Clorox the living shit out of my house <clears throat> and um, I'm going to stay away from him as much as I possibly can. I'm going to take my computer and everything and I'm going to go into the bedroom and not come out for the next four days. <laughs> he can have the living room. Um, and I'll just, you know, I'll just stay in the in the bedroom. Because <clears throat> if I get, <clears throat> excuse me, if I get this, whatever he's got, and it gets into my chest and I start to cough, even if I get it after the surgery, I'm screwed. Because if I start coughing, that's going to put pressure on my stomach. And I could, I could rip my stomach right like it I could I could um, do some serious damage in there and then I'm in trouble so yeah and now I'm sitting there thinking hmm. sorry <laughs> I've been wanting a coffee so bad and they have like the lids aren't on properly Um, of course, my empathic side now is thinking, okay, so we've now put two roadblocks in front of me before my surgery. Why? And I think I had this the last time I got sick and we had to cancel the surgery. I think I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Except now... It's the second. Why is this person going so slow? What is happening here? <clears throat> um, so now I'm thinking, like, what's going on? Like, what's going on? I don't know. <sighs> so I guess we gotta just wait and see what happens. And I'll do my very best to keep myself as healthy as I can. Today was the first day that I didn't take my blood thinners. So, yeah. <laughs> but I've got, in my, in my left temple, I have a pain. I've had it for a couple of days. And it's like, I don't know if it's stress or what, but it's just, it's like somebody's taking a knife and going, eh, 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 right in my freaking temple. <clears throat> and it's driving me nuts. Because I, I think it's my neck. I think my neck is what's problem is it 
right but <clears throat> yeah it's um not fun so <clears throat> anyway uh, yeah so we never got any of the bags or anything done but I'm going to go home I've got to get the forest guardian done um, for New Zealand I actually started it this morning I've got the head done and the horns and I'm I've got most of the body actually no sorry I lied I've got the body done I've got it all together now I have to make the arms the tail the jacket the ears and that stuff won't take me very long so um, yeah so that's gonna be done probably tonight yes Bailey what can I do for you uh, and then I can hopefully get that shipped out I still not I still have not heard from my Yarnaby for the sweater um, so I need to find my Yarnaby that won the sweater. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, but other than that, I just, I got to do the graphics for, ooh, for the, um, the bags. And, uh, oh, <laughs> I went, <clears throat> because I don't know my Cricut machine yet, um, I went and ordered some decals from a website. I had, I'm having them made. I designed a couple, a couple of um, decals, and one of them says, uh, and hopefully you don't get offended, but it says, um, "I don't sugarcoat shit. I'm not Willy Wonka." <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna have that on five T-shirts. So, if you're interested, let me know. Um, but I'm gonna probably have all this stuff put on the website that, I, I took down my website. Did I tell you guys that? I took down my website. I'm gonna start again and figure out all of that. Um, oh, hold on, Bailey. Um, Hi, yarn bees. How are you today? <clears throat> well, I'm in my bedroom. <laughs> I've been in my bedroom for three days. I am quarantining. Not because of the C word, <clears throat> but because George is sick. Sorry, my hair is a mess. I'm just, I'm a mess. Um, George is sick. He's coming out of it now. But um, my surgery is in two days. So I don't want to get sick because I don't want them to cancel again. <clears throat> so I have been quarantining myself. Although I did go last night and I made two things of lasagna so that I could pack them up and put them in the freezer for George for when I am healing <clears throat> he has something to eat <laughs> so yeah so I've just been sitting in here and crocheting and oh I didn't bring it up here I finished the forest guardian I just have to put um, a flower on <clears throat> the head so hang on let me grab it alrighty Ooh. Okay, so this is the Forest Guardian that a subscriber had won, not a, um, a Patreon, not Patreon, holy crap, channel member had one uh, that's in New Zealand. So I hope she likes it. <laughs> Here she is. Here's her tail. She has a different jacket on. It's got little frills on it. And there's her eyes. Um, she has purple in her ears. 
because um, she Holly was saying that she wanted purple, black, or purple, black, or I can't remember what the other color was because I was so focused on doing the oh or blue. Um, so the jacket is the Moody Mosaic. Uh, I love this yarn print. My one of my favorites. So it has some of the teal blue in it. Um, and then she's got her fuzzy tail. So yeah, so this is what she looks like so far. Now I just have to put flowers right here or something. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure, but I'm thinking about putting a crystal on her as well because I do have uh, I've got <clears throat> in my little bag of tricks I have these kind of crystals so I'm thinking about I've got a purple one here it looks um, pink but it's actually purple. But I'm thinking about putting, oops, a little crystal necklace on her. Oh my good Lord. Um, so yeah, now her little nose, I don't know. I put it as the skin color, but I don't know. It kind of, it gets lost there. So I'm not sure. If I should give her a pink nose, but then she look more rabbity, rabbity, rap, rabbit e. <laughs> um, I think the black that I did on the other one was a bit stark. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I leave it like that? It gives her a totally different look than the other ones. So I don't know. Like, what do you think? Is should I keep it like that? Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, so I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, but I, I thought the little frills were cute. So, yeah. So now I just have to do the little flowers and she's done and ready to go to New Zealand. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, and I want to thank um, a couple of my subscribers i you guys didn't have to do that they gave me a super chat it was is is it a super chat or a, i'm not up on these things because i don't advertise that kind of stuff i don't think it's called a super chat it's called something else apparently there's a button on i don't know if it's my members site or on my channel site where you can send a little bit of money or however, whatever denomination you want to support my channel. I had no idea. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Um, but anyways, these, these people, um, two people had sent me um, a little bit of money to help me with the shipping to have this go to New Zealand. And I, I am so, I thank you so much. Um, but you did not have to do that. I, I appreciate it greatly, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to put that out there, <laughs> you know, because I, I said like, this is up to me. This is, this is something I wanted to do. I don't want anybody to have to pay um, the shipping for something that <clears throat> I'm doing as a giveaway. Right. So, but thank you. Thank you. Um, I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. Um, so yes, I, I'm hoping to be able to get that finished and packed up and out the door. Hopefully maybe tomorrow. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm finally done that. Uh, I finished an, another sweater. Did I finish this sweater? Did I? I think I already showed it to you guys. Um, 
I am working on a tutorial right now. Uh, I just got to finish. Today's football day, so there's going to be a lot of yelling and blah, blah, blah. So I think I'm going to finish that off tomorrow. I'm going to send it off to my members first. Um, when that goes out, I will probably still be in the hospital. <clears throat> my my surgery's on Tuesday. <sighs> so, um, yeah, while I'm in the hospital, my members <clears throat> will have the tutorial. And then um, I'm hoping that once I'm home, I'll be able to switch it to then the channels, <clears throat> the channels, uh, yarn and bees will get it. Um, so yeah. Um, so get your yarns ready. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You don't have, you can just use a four weight yarn, um, any color. I really suggest that you do two different kinds. Um, whether it be a solid and a variegated, uh, or, you know, two different solid colors, um, because otherwise the detail of it won't show up. Um, it's a, a very simple pattern. It's good for beginners. So if you've never made a wearable before, this is one to jump on because it's, um, it's basic. It's, it's V stitches, um, with a little bit of a twist. So yeah. Um, what else? Oh, <laughs> because I've been making so many plushies and, and sweaters, I decided that I was going to do something mindless today to kind of keep my my mind off of <clears throat> what's about to happen. <laughs> so I started making pickles again, uh, which is a tutorial in my, pat, uh, my playlist. So yeah, I decided to give it kawaii eyes. Usually I give it my my eyes um but i decided to do the kawaii eyes because i really just don't even feel like making eyes right now <laughs> it's down to the crunch so my my brain and everything is starting to focus <clears throat> on other things i'm also trying to make a mini keychain pickle um exact same pattern but I'm using a three millimeter hook which is unheard of for me so I'm doing the exact same pattern but I'm using a smaller hook I mean good god look at that look at how small that is terrible <laughs> um, same yarn like this is the same yarn that I used for this it's just with this, I used a five millimeter or six millimeter. I can't remember. <clears throat> it was like half an hour ago and I can't remember. <sighs> Shows you where my head's at. But yeah, so I want to see the difference in size. I'm planning on doing those Christmas pickles. So that's kind of where I'm going with this. It might even be a keychain. I don't know. <clears throat> But anyway, okay, I'm going to go and just focus on something mindless and um, talk to you guys later. Hey, you're in a beast. Okay, so I wanted to show this to you before I start packing it up and getting it ready to go to New Zealand. Okay, so here she is. I put her flower on. And I got her necklace on. So there she is. She's all ready to go. And something I don't know if you noticed, what I did was, uh, I don't know if you can tell, you might not be able to tell, but I have her so that she's kind of looking over to the side. She's looking, oh, maybe you can't tell. Well, maybe. She's kind of looking a little off to the side. So that she's not quite straight on. Yeah, it gives her just a little extra character. But anyway, you can't really tell. But anyway, so yeah, she's got her flower. She's got her, she's got, this is a, a rose quartz. 
for love. So, yeah, she's got a real crystal. <laughs> so there she is. Okay. And she's ready to go to her new home. I hope she, I hope she is well received. Um, and I, <clears throat> I would absolutely love to get a picture of her in her new home. And, uh, you know, with a New Zealand background or something, just, I've never really seen pictures of New Zealand. I think that would be really cool. So I can't believe she's going that far away. Something that I made. It just, it blows my, I'm getting teary eyed just thinking about it. Like, I can't believe that's the farthest country, I think, that, aside from Australia, that my stuff has gone. I mean, that's just, that blows my mind. That absolutely blows my mind. So, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, so, all right. So now she's done, and I'm going to finish up on my tutorial. And, uh, yeah, and then get ready for the big day. I'm not sure what I want to take, it because I'm going to take a crochet bag. So I don't exactly know what I want to take with me. Something easy, maybe. Maybe I'll start a campfire cardigan. I have no idea what to expect from this. I don't know if I'm going to be completely out of it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be in a lot of pain. Like, I have no idea what to expect. So I'll have to take something that's, you know, fairly easy. Something maybe I don't have to have a pattern for. Um, yeah. I was thinking about taking the amigurumi, but then I'd have to do the safety eyes and all that. And mm. that's not going to be, that's not going to be a, a feasible thing. So <clears throat> then I thought about taking some pickles, but no. Uh -uh. So, yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to take my computer. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, so I'll, I'm probably going to be taking my iPad. But, um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, guys. So I will talk to you later. Hi, yarn bees. <sighs> okay. So this is going to be the sign-off part. Tomorrow is my surgery. Uh, it's 6.30 p.m. right now. Um, I am starting my fast. And uh, I have to have a shower with the pre... <clears throat> what's it called? The pre-surgery scrub thing. <laughs> and then I have to have another one in the morning. We're going to be getting up at, well, George probably get up at like two in the morning for God's sakes. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> uh, I'll be getting up around quarter after five, having my shower, and then we'll be on our way to Victoria. So I'm nervous. Oh, hell. I'll even go as far as saying I'm scared. Um, but it is what it is. It has to be done. I've had, I have to say thank you to a lot of people. <clears throat> um, I got a message from Chris saying, you know, good luck. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Terry, she contacted me. Um, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet, she contacted me. That was a bit of a shock. Um, so thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Terry. Uh, my friends, um, Kathy and Steve from the British shop in Shimanis, where I have my shop, they contacted me <clears throat> and, um, one that really struck me, oh, my daughter Tia, she contacted me too, and my grandbaby and, and her sent their love. Um, something that really shocked me was, uh... A lady from the Chamber of Commerce in Shimanis, where I have my shop, um, Melody. She contacted me. I was shocked. 
I didn't even think she remembered that I was having surgery, let alone contact me. I mean, she's a very busy woman. Um, and I, I basically told her, I says, you know, I figured once I left Shimanis, so I was like, <laughs> and oh, nobody cared about me after that, you know. And she said, you know, I was part of the Shimanis family, you know, and um, I was just, it, it really, um, it really touched me. She is the only one other than Steve and um, Kathy who really supported me. You know, she was there when I opened up my shop, um, like when I was in the market. She was my first customer when I expanded my shop. <clears throat> um, and she was the only person on the day that I closed my shop that came in and wished me well and sent me off. Um, so, I don't know if she watches my channel, but... Melody, thank you. Um, that meant a lot to me. So, <clears throat> anyway. Um, yeah, so I got my Forest Guardian all packed up. George is going to take it to the post office for me while I'm in the hospital. I didn't get the tutorial done, you guys. I am so sorry. I was so close. I was so close. Um, I just have the collar to do and the trim and everything. And oh, I ended up, I filmed how to put the panels together and the arms and everything. And I realized when I was about to do the next part of the video of how to start the collar, <clears throat> I noticed that the two pan front panel sides, I flipped the panel the wrong way. Ah, I was so mad. To, to look at it, you'd probably never even notice. But for me, I noticed. Because the two side piece, the, the two sides are different. So, I realized at that point that I was trying to rush something and I have too much on my head. I've had this headache for a week um, and that I'm just, I'm all over the place and I should not be trying to push out a tutorial uh, in this state. So, I just, I'm. I'm putting it to the side for right now until I come home from surgery. I'll see how I feel. And um, I don't want to take that whole half of the sweater apart because I would have to undo the whole seam on the side and the shoulder piece. That's a big undertaking. So I may end up doing a learn, having that as a learning lesson in the video. And, um, <clears throat> and then just finish off the sweater. I don't know. But for right now, I can't even, I can't even focus on that or anything else right now. Um, so, I mean, I did start doing a campfire card again. Because that's just something I don't have to <clears throat> really think about too much. And I can't even fold this right. Oh, you guys. I'm telling you, my brain does not want to do what it wants to do. <laughs> Woo! Holy brightness. <laughs> so this is what I'm working on. I'm using the Sweet Roll Vivid. I believe this is, yeah, it's the lava lamp. And I'm using just the regular oops, loops and threads. Soft Classic by Michaels, the black. 
That's all I'm doing. If you want to see how I do a campfire cardigan, I do have a tutorial on my channel in my um, playlist. So it goes and it shows you everything. Um, I have another video that shows you how to do the cuff on a campfire cardigan. <clears throat> so if you're interested... You go check that out. That's something that you could do for me while I'm in the hospital. That would be wonderful. Just to go through my playlist and maybe do some of my tutorials. Because <clears throat> um, I don't know how long it's going to be before I'm going to be able to get another video out. I know I'm going to film tomorrow, like tomorrow morning, if it's not too dark. Um, and kind of do a play-by-play <clears throat> of us arriving at the hospital and all that, like I did when I had my foot surgery done. I know that I'm not going to be able to take in my phone or anything to the, you know, when you go in to get changed and everything. So, yeah. So I might not be able to do too much filming with that. But... After I come out of surgery, depending on how I feel, I might be able to film a little bit. I'll see how it goes. So, anyway. I don't know if there's anything else I want to tell you other than I love you, I love you, I love you. No matter what happens tomorrow, um, just know that I love you lots. And um, I... You guys... You guys make everything better and uh, I thank you for your support and love um, and before I get too sappy <laughs> and too negative Nelly um, I'm gonna go <laughs> and uh, I will talk to you later see you on the flip side <laughs>